So, O.J. Simpson has some words about Henry Ruggs III in his case in the time he got recently. Hey, X-World, it's me, yours truly. Now, I know I went to college on a football scholarship, but somehow this math is not adding up to me. You're driving a car at roughly 160 miles an hour on a public street and end up Killing a girl and her dog, and you get three to ten years. You go to a hotel room that you're invited to to retrieve your own personal stolen property. Property I now have because it was ruled to be mine by the state of California. And you get nine to thirty-three years. Same courthouse, same city, same state. I don't know. Somehow it just does not add up to me. <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh, Jay, you know why it don't add up. Don't add up because you ain't add in that other case that they are giving you that 934. You know exactly. Writing a book after that, if I did it and all of that. You know exactly why they're coming at you with these numbers that they gave you. Because they missed you by this much in the first case. They trying to catch you for the stuff that you got away from. And Henry Ruggs got uh, three to ten years, I guess, for, for the young woman's death. And, you know, it, it, it's subjective, man. It, it depends. It's just like some people feel like Tory Lanez, he got 10 years. Like, I did a video on that. I, I don't know. I, I feel like 10 years was a bit much when you look at some of the, uh, how the case played out and some of the inconsistencies and some of the lies that were told. I just wasn't sure if Tory Lanez actually did the crime. And especially when you look at the girl Kelsey uh, being granted immunity. For her part in the whole thing. It's like it seems like. Um, or that it's possible that he might not have done it. I don't know. But it um, all these things factor in. When it's time to get the sentence. And OJ. I'm sure you know. You're trying to play like you don't know. Because I guess. You, you're going with the thing of. That's my lie and I'm sticking to it. But listen. They feel like you got away with the first crime, so they were going to throw the hammer at you on the second one. And it's kind of like you've been inviting them to throw the hammer at you that second time around because all of the stuff you were doing in betwixt these time periods. You kept agitating the situation by making it seem like you could have done these things. Even though you got away with it. You write books, you're giving statements, this, that, and that. So when you add in all of that, you understand exactly why you got the time that you got on the second go-round. Because had you just got away with, you know, or got off on the first case and then just went away scot-free and shut your mouth about the whole situation, maybe the second time, not so hard, not so bad, or, you know what I'm saying? But when you continue to agitate the situation and stir up things here, there, and the other, then that's how stuff unfolds. But it's your boy, PCAP. Let me know what you think, what you don't think about OJ and his uh, calculations that he's doing recently. Get at your boy.